Yeah, I'm gonna go out. Good morning guys, how you all doing? The noise is council workers outside, they're digging up the pavement. I've no idea what, but it's outside my neighbour's house. Man, that is loud. <laughs> No, I can still hear them in here. Uh, okay. Well, I was trying to figure out what I want to do today because I'm off work. Should be at work tonight, but like I said the other day, I needed to use some holidays up. I've been thinking, what can I do with myself? Do I want to tidy up? Do I want to go to Crystal Peaks? I thought about going to Chesterfield and I was thinking more and more about doing that and then they started and I'm like yeah I'm going out <laughs> so I've decided I'm gonna go to Chesterfield I want to do the last of my bar humbug shopping <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a few presents left to get that is really noisy I have no idea what they're up to it's a good thing it's Monday morning that they're doing this because with me being on nights this week that would wake me up hopefully they're gonna be done by Wednesday because I'll have done a night shift at that point. Yeah, I can't think straight with all that noise. I'm gonna to go to Chesterfield. Now in Chesterfield, Spire proves that. And I've come prepared because I have my MP3 player in my pocket, fully charged, unless of course it's uh, decided to play itself again. I'm here primarily to buy presents for other people. But you know, knowing me, I'll probably end up buying something for myself. Oh, what a shame. Already I bought some stuff for myself. Well, <laughs> uh, oh, I couldn't help it. Yeah, I've been in uh, Boys, not sponsored, but a few books and something that I needed. And the best thing is I didn't have to put my MP3 player on because they had no music playing. I hope all the shops keep that up. Finally got a Christmas present. I'm noticing it's a, a lot busier than it usually is. As you can see. So I'm now starting to get hungry. My stomach started grumbling. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna look for somewhere to eat. I've been going around the market stalls. Normally when I come they're not here. But I was a little disappointed because there was a stall down there that was selling DVDs and I found elementary season six and that's the next one I want. And it was only six pounds but it looks like they've just chucked it in a box and they've stepped on it, let it get crushed and it's all scuffed and all that. If that's the condition of that one, then what's the rest like? So I just walked away. I don't know. Anyway, I've just been to Greg's. Can't really see anywhere to sit down, so I'm gonna stand here and eat my sandwich. I'm very hungry. It's just about to turn two o'clock and I'm done with shopping around Chesterfield. I didn't really buy anything else. I've been through the shopping arcade, I think it was called. Went in a few shops there. Then I was in Wilco's and they were playing just normal music at first. I thought, great, I don't need to put my earphones in. And as soon as I got to the back, a Christmas song that I really hate came on. And I was like, nope. Stuck my fingers in my ears going, meh, 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 as I ran out of this shop because I didn't want to hear any of it. <laughs> I couldn't get my earphones out quick enough. So, yeah. <laughs> so after that, I just stuck my earphones in and been in a few other shops, including CEX and cash converters. I've not even bought anything for myself from them places. Oh well. Because it's just turning to a clock, I thought, well, I've got a bit of time left, so I'm going to head to Crystal Peaks and see if I can find a few more presents there and maybe a few other things for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's how I do my bar humbug shopping. I buy at least one present for somebody else and two for myself. <laughs> Actually, that's what I've done today. <laughs> I always joke about doing that and I've actually done that. I know, I know, I'm, I'm daft. <laughs> ah well. I'm now at Crystal Peaks and I'm already prepared. The earphones are in, just in case. Do you know I've managed to buy three presents and none for myself? I'm very, very surprised. But now I owe myself six. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's after only been in one shop. Hopefully I'll be able to get the rest before I leave. Well, unfortunately, I've not been able to find anything else to buy for 
people. I didn't buy anything for myself. <laughs> I uh, almost did though. I was in Iceland just to have a look around there. And they've got Ben and Jerry's on offer at £2.50. I was like, nope, walk away, don't, don't buy any. I guess I can do a bit more shopping online later. Or later on in the week. I'm trying to think how many I've got left to get. Hmm. One. Two. Three. I think that's it. Although I'm kind of thinking of popping to the Asda first. Fancy a salad for my tea. In other words, I can't be bothered to cook. Well, here's the thing. I've just been in the Asda. I thought, while well, I'm here, I might as well do my weekly shop because I was going to do it tomorrow morning anyway. I was sort of umming and ahhing about it. And then I thought, well, tomorrow I'll complain about myself for not going when I had the chance. So that's why I did. So now I don't have to do it tomorrow. Awesome. And the best thing is, I've managed to buy two more presents while I was in there. Woo! <laughs> Go me. I believe I'm down to one more and I can get that online unless it doesn't arrive in time and I have to say it is cold out there my car's saying it's six degrees that's because I'm underneath the Asda in the car park below but out there oh, my fingers are very very cold and um, I kind of told Harley that I'd be back before dark <clears throat> Yeah, oops. Oh, I'm really not liking this weather. I've just walked Harley as soon as I put all my shopping away and it's just really, really cold out there. In fact, what does my phone say? I shouldn't trust it to be honest because earlier today, one of, it's got two weather apps and one of them was saying minus one and then the other one was saying two degrees. Right now it's saying two degrees on one. Let's see what the other one's saying. Three degrees. <laughs> very cold before i sign off i just want to tell you about a couple of derp moments that i've had late okay the first one was last week at some point i can't remember which day but i was editing one of my smeg chris videos and i heard the heating come on thought nothing of it and it got very nice and toasty down here and then i had to go upstairs for something and whilst i was up there i was thinking why is it a lot colder up there than it is down here when I go back downstairs, I realise why. I had left the gas fire on full. So not only was I getting heat from that, but also from the radiators, which is why it was a lot warmer downstairs than upstairs. Hence a dirt moment. But that's nothing that pales in comparison to yesterday. <laughs> so for months, I've been wanting to change my nettings on the living room window and also in the lavatory window and also I've been wanting to get a new curtain for the bathroom window because one corner of it's been fraying and it keeps falling off. Yesterday I decided that I needed to wash my bed sheets and I thought whilst I'm doing that I'll change the duvet because I've still got my summer one on. So I pulled out all of this stuff out of the cupboard and what do I find? Nettings that I have never ever used and a curtain identical to the one in the bathroom that's never been used. I'm like, what the, where have they come from? <laughs> Let me show you the ones down here. Right here, look, see, they're a bit on the long side because of the trailing on the bottom here. But other than that, they fit perfect. There's no tears in them like the other one. And best yet, it's white and not brown or dirty or what the other one is. I've yet to do the lavatory one because the netting I found I've put on the side here. I need to cut it down to size. Right here. The one that was up on the living room window. This one. Look at how filthy that is compared to that. I honestly do not recall ever having these in my house. I don't know if my mum put them there. I asked her. She can't remember. Or were they left there by the previous owners, which was 20 plus years ago? Yes, this. Look at that. Fits perfect, it's not falling off or anything. Yeah, I need to replace this one. Look at the state of that. It's all ripped. Honestly, for months I've been going to places looking for nettings. I've been asking online, like on Facebook, 
Does anybody know where you can get nettings from? I spotted some in the market on the moor a few months, well, about a month ago, in fact. Well, just before the lockdown. And I was like, oh, but I didn't have any measurements at the time, so I put those on my phone. So I was going to do it. It's a good thing I haven't because I already have them. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm a derp. On just before I sign off, I've come home to find that they've got most of the path outside barricaded off, you know, from this morning where they were digging it all up. There's a great big hole outside my neighbour's house. So I don't know how long that's going to be there for. Knowing the council, about a month. <laughs> you know what they're like. In fact, I didn't mention on the way to Chesterfield, I was going down a road and they got cones and a traffic light system put in because they were cordoning off one of the well, part of the road. Nobody was there working on it. No one. What's that all about? Anyway guys, I'm gonna go now. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Hey Harley, do you think I should turn the fire on? It is a bit cold. Hold on a minute. Let me just go check something. Nope, the heating isn't on. See, I learned from my derps. <laughs> Oh, dear.